Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and we are going to start work on the web services in using C Sharp uh, in the Visual Studio. So how we can use the uh, web service and how to create the web service, let's start working on that. So first of all, uh, go to File, uh, New and Project. And this time we are going to create a web project so you can simply click on this web since you know that we are creating a web service okay so click on this web and from web you can simply select sp.net web application.net framework and from here you can give any uh, name to your project so i'm going to give a unique name to my project i will simply give it a name as coding cafe web application okay and then you can simply click ok and choose this empty template from here and make sure that all the boxes are unchecked so select empty and then click ok and it is going to create our this project by the name coding cafe web application so we have to wait for it so you have uh, you can see our project is created successfully now the next thing is to uh, click right click on your project name which is this one in my case okay and then click add and here you can simply click on this new item okay so click on new item and this window will appear now here you can simply search for web then press enter and when you write web and then click on enter button then this will appear okay all these so from here you can simply select web service asmx and this will be our this web service name which is web service one dot asmx so if you want you can change your name of this service but i'm not going to change the name of it okay so yeah click add after that so you can see this is up here which is uh, the default files for our this web service which we just created and here is a web method the default method which is by the name hello world now let's create another method and then we can see how it works okay so copy this and let's paste it down here and we can give it a name as first of all let's change the return type of this to int so public int and we can say sum and it must uh, take two parameters int a comma int b and let's perform the addition so it will took two parameters okay from the user and then it will return the sum of that so how to test it all you're gonna need is to simply click on this button and it will launch our uh, first this basic type of web service in our default browser so wait for it it will took two or three seconds so here you can see uh, in Google Chrome it is my default browser it opens uh, this first page you can see localhost colon this and then web service and dot asmx so here you can see we have two methods uh, in our file in our code file which is hello world and sum if i show you and here you can see two methods by the name hello world and sum two web methods for now so if i click on this hello world then uh, here you can see uh, it is written that is invoke click on this invoke and here you can see hello world so our uh, web method is uh, our web service is working fine till now now the next thing is i am going to invoke the other method which is sum and here you can see it need it asks to uh, for two parameters okay so we have to pass the values to our first parameter which is a and b so let's say I'm going to type 2 and then 3. So let's click on invoke and here you can see 2 plus 3 equals to 5. So yeah, till now it is working fine. So this is uh, the way uh, how we can create a web service. Now the next thing which we will be doing is to create a client application or basically you can say a Windows Form application which will be our client application. And then you will exchange data between the web service and the uh, client application which we which will be our windows form application and for that uh, we will be using json json is a strong text based uh, text based format that can be effectively used for exchanging data between the web services and client applications json is uh, beneficial to convert complex data structures like data tables uh, list etc to json 
so that they can be easily utilized at client applications so now let's do that so first of all I'm going to create a function in our web service that should return uh, data from a data table so let's close the browser and now here in our web service what I'm going to do is create another method so I can simply copy paste this and our this new method the method will basically return a data table so let's give it a name as uh, public and it will be a string type okay because we cannot return the data table I mean the data type of this will not be data table since you know that we will be creating a data table and we will be adding the columns and rows so let's give it a name as countries and uh, it there is no need for any parameter and now let's create a data table first so here we can simply say data table now to use the data table here we can simply port this one which is using system dot sorry dot data and now here we can say data table let's give it a name as duty countries equals to new data table and now inside this new method we can simply say dd countries dot columns dot add let's give it a name as countries we can say country name second column name is be continent and now let's add rows to these okay so we can say dd countries dot rows dot add so the first one is the country name so let's say I'm going to type Pakistan and the continent is Asia and let's copy paste that and now we can say India Germany so this is our method and now the next thing is to return the uh, JSON string here so for doing that first of all come here to the solution explorer and here we have this references right click on that and here you can simply click on this option which is manage and you get packages and you get is the package manager for .NET now let's search here for Microsoft dot asp dot net sorry remove this dot net it is just asp net dot web api dot client and then press enter and if the installed is selected then make sure to click on this browse okay click on this browse and now it is searching okay because the installed one will display the installed packages and we are going to browse for this new package and once it serves that package then we will install it so please wait for it and make sure that from here from the package source uh, select this and you get dot org okay make sure to select this one and then it will search for that and here you can see it is appear here so now you can simply uh, click on that and click on this install button and it is going to install this for us click OK I accept and now it is installing so now here you can see it is finished and it is installed successfully so once it is installed successfully all you're going to need is to close this now and let's close this and now here we can say return and here at the top First of all, we have to add the Newtonsoft dot JSON. Here we can say JSON convert dot serialize object, and here we have to pass the DT countries, which is our uh, data table that contain this data and as you know that the return type of this method is string and we are converting that to a json object by using this json convert dot serialize object so serialize object uh, 
Serialization is the process of converting any object uh, into a data interchange format, for example, XML and JSON, etc. If we directly uh, return the data table, which is DT countries, then this format is not acceptable for by the web service. Uh, if you want to check, then remove this line of code and just return the DT countries, and uh, you will see that your web service, after you run this, then your web service will display uh, an error of uh, which will basically tell you to uh, serialize the object and rows are not I mean such a uh, such type of error like that please check it if you want but I'm not going to do that I mean for the time saving so to send the data from the uh, web service we use the serialization process or you can say we use the serialize object uh, by using this JSON convert which convert the uh, duty countries uh, data which is in the string form it is it converted into the JSON object and uh, when we uh, receive this I mean when we will be creating a client application where we will create a Windows form application then we will deserialize this data and deserialization is the process of converting the data interchange format into an object like uh, data table arrays etc so yeah let's run the app to see uh, how we receive it so here you can see our third method is added successfully which is countries let's go to that let's invoke it and here we go this is our json objects here you can see country name and this continent asia and all these data here you can see this so it convert our string to json object and as I told you, if you remove this JSON convert from this code here, then it will display error uh, instead of displaying this JSON object or you can say this JSON data. And yeah, that's it for this video. And in the next video tutorial, we will create a client application and we will further work on our uh, this web services concepts in C Sharp Visual Studio. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now.